Hey guys, River Raven here, and today we're going to be painting these orange space marines that I've called the Space Dingoes. I've based their colour scheme off of the Australian Dingo, if that wasn't obvious. And this is going to be a pretty quick painting tutorial. Um, there's only about eight paints that you'll need, so without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, there's only eight paints, though you may want some flesh paint if you're painting flesh, and possibly some brown for the tires if you want to paint them brown. So grab your Space Marine, I've already base coated them in black, and now I'm just doing a dry brush of white over the top of them. I always like to do a dry brush of white, no matter what model it is, I always do a black undercoat and a dry brush of white but these models are actually going to have white parts that I want to keep white on them so I went over it twice and then I also went over it again to make sure those white parts are going to stay white. So the parts that you want to keep white are the stomach, the crest on the chest, the inner thighs, the crutch plate, the inner parts of the shoulders, as well as the inner parts of the elbows and the wrist, and as well as the hands. And I almost forgot the mask of the helmet, and the toes, as well as the purity seal. I hope you guys can remember all that. Now this next part isn't necessary, but I always do it, which is painting a yellow down before you put an orange on top of it and that's because I've always found oranges to be very watered down and every single orange that I've used has had this same consistency of being really watered down even mixing my own orange that I'm about to do so I put down a yellow and then I don't need to put you know three or four coats of orange in the same spot but totally up to you. If you've got a good orange that you can use, please leave me a comment below because I want to know which orange you're using. So here I'm just mixing up my own orange and that's because I don't like other oranges and even mixing up my own orange I find that it still struggles to stay on the model. So yeah, I don't know. Here I'm just touching up everything that's meant to be white as now that the orange is down we don't have anything else that is going to be going near the white so it's a good chance to just clear up everything. Make sure that you're happy with everything because now we're taking our Reclan Flesh Shade and putting it all over the top of the Space Marine. Now I'm trying to make them look like they're really dirty, like they've been out in the desert for, you know, months or even years fighting off the Necron hordes. So it's totally up to you how much um, you want to dirty them up but I like them to be like really gritty, so mine look particularly dirty. And if you don't think they're dirty enough yet, well, add another layer. Oh, 
on this layer I'm particularly trying to dirty up areas where dirt and mud and stuff is going to flick up and hit the bike so that's why everything lower to the ground here is getting another layer of reclaimed flesh shade I actually forgot to add this one to the list at the start so whoops but this is Mornfang Brown and I'm just doing it on the leather parts the belts and holsters it's totally up to you if you want to do this color I think it looks good but I'll pretty much always do a leather color rather than black but if you think black looks better then use black Here I'm just taking some off-white and just rubbing it over some areas to make it look a little less dirty and sort of bring that white back. Um, it also gives the effect that you know there's some dirt and stuff that's ingrained in there. And I'm pretty much doing the same thing here with the orange. Now I'm just taking a dry brush and mixing up with a tad of water and what I'm hoping to do here is take off some of the brown that's on here sort of makes it look like the dirt has actually fallen off over time now I'm just taking Necron compound and I'm putting it on the edges of the shoulders as well as the outlets on the jump pack and on the hoses coming from his mask as well as the ammo belts on the bike and the tips of the pistols this is another paint that I did not add on the list and that is dryad bark and that's because I figured most people would probably want to keep their tires black. Now we're just going over some parts with just black. Here I've just mixed up a bit of gold and Reclan Flesh Shade to give it that sort of rusted effect. Adding to that rusted effect is Balthazar's Gold. This is one of my favourite paints for rust effects because it gives it that nice red rust. Next up, I'm just painting the general in some flesh tone. Here I'm painting the Necron head that I stuck to the bike. Um, if you want to check out my other video where I paint some Australian themed Necrons, I'll link it below. So I did the eyes in gold and then just went over them with a little bit of reclaimed flesh shade. I decided that with the Australian theme that this guy really needed to have a tan. If you're wondering where I got this sand from, you'll have to check out the Necrons video.
Alright guys, we are all finished. If you do use this colour scheme, please put it up on your Instagram story and tag me at River Raven Miniatures. That would be awesome. I'd love to see what you've done and if you've changed anything. And if you could give this video a thumbs up as well as share it with your friends. And if you've enjoyed, please hit subscribe because I have a ton of miniatures that I need to get painted and I'm going to be recording all of it and uploading it. So if you want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button. But here we go, the finished Space Dingoes.